This is Twit. Mechanical keyboard switches explained and compared. I don't know how to make that any simpler. Um, mechanical keyboards have been gaining in popularity. Uh, uh, you know, basically cherry the MX line of switches. Um, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to pull a quote from Scott here until recently, the cherry MX line of switches were the basis of just about every major gaming mechanical keyboard. Uh, although we will discuss recent competitors later on. So, there is the IBM model M keyboard, which I use, which is not actually a uh, mechanical switch, technically. Uh, it's a buckling mm. spring switch. Um, I could get into that, but I would nerd out and people would probably freak out. Um, <laughs> uh, just because I can just nerd on, out on that all day long. Uh, but I happen to love, that's my personal favorite keyboard, the Cherry MX keyboards. Um, you know, basically it, there's a chart here. Um, and it's funny, like linear tactile clicky. And then looking at the, um, you know, SB is stronger springs, uh, for the space bars, uh, the click gray is intended for space bars and cherry MX white, green, and blue keyboards. The MX green is intended for space bars and cherry MX blue. Um, it's kind of funny to look at the, like sort of the array of feels and they started selling on Amazon recently, these little uh, like a PCB with four switches on it. So you could feel the difference between a, a blue, a red, a green, or a brown, a blue, you know, they have sort of a mix. Was, uh, of, did you, do you have one of those? Uh, Michael Hand does, uh, my partner in crime uh, on Die Tryin. I think um, Cooler Master made those, didn't they? Yeah, I think it sounds about right. And then I think, I think somebody so. started bringing them over on uh, Alibaba. But, you know, yeah. So the four main Cherry MX switches are blue, brown, black, and red. Uh, and then there's a bunch that you don't normally get into. Um, linear mechanical switches, the red and the black. Um, except, you know, one has more resistance than the others. Quote, the switch mm -hmm. does not give you any feedback, i.e. it's not clicky that a press has occurred. Um, unless you actually physically bought them all the way out. Um, people's, you know, these switches are supposedly better for gaming because there's nothing getting in the way of repeated presses on the same button. Um, you know, and it's kind of funny, like the Steel Series 7G, it's cool that he actually has examples of all the different keyboards using the different keys. Summary for Cherry MX Black, firm, smooth, and relatively quiet. Summary for Cherry MX Red, light, smooth, and loud if you tend to bottom out. Tactile mechanically switches, those are the brown switches. Um, that basically you have to go buy a bump to get the switch to, uh, well, switch, the um, <laughs> uh, considered a good compromise between gaming and typing. Mm. Corsair Vengeance K70, the Code 104. Um, and then there's clicky mechanical switches, the Cherry MX Blue switches. So there's a slider in two pieces, quote, a plunger stem that is pressed by the user in a floating piece that touches the filament. Um uh, in, uh, you know, a bump and a click basically for typing. Like I, well, the reason people who type a lot love IBM, uh, model M keyboards is because they, they make it super easy to type fast because there's so much tactile feedback on each key. Um, I don't know. It's interesting. And then there are new ones coming out, which are, I are, it's razors actually making these or is cherry making these for razor? So the, the, patent, know the, the patent on the on the switches is over. Uh -huh. Now they can just get a man, they can just make their own. So this is not a partnership with Cherry. I, in fact, I okay. think there's quite a bit of animosity about you know all these competitors <laughs> coming out. Uh, and then Logitech has their own as well, which is kind of kind of interesting. So I I, I love these descriptions of these types of yeah. things and the little animations that Scott made. Uh, to kind of give you an idea of why they feel differently is definitely helping me remember, like if, like if you know, if you ask me what's the difference between a cherry MX black and a cherry MX red, I don't, I don't have any idea. I don't know why you're asking me that question. Uh, but when you read about it and you see it in a table form and you see it in a graphic form, it definitely helps you out there. And then he lists some examples of what keyboards uh, use those particular switches, so it can give you some idea of what they cost and 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 all that stuff. So pretty pretty neat stuff for sure. I. We go through a lot of keyboards here. We get a lot of keyboards <laughs> in. And um, just why I, you should be using an IBM Model M. <laughs> then you but it's have not, we're one not, keyboard. Well, I'm we're not breaking them. We just, we just need to, we're just yeah. like, it's like, well, hey, somebody sent us this. Let's try it for a long time. Right. And see, once you've found perfection, yeah. 
<laughs> Once you found perfection, you need not. Eh. Fair I, enough. I, I kid. <laughs>